टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लेसन नंबर नाइन लेजर पोस्टिंग पेज नंबर टू जीरो वन नाउ सी फर्स्ट विल सी द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट फ्रॉम द अर्लियर चैप्टर वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर अ जर्नल और सब्सिडरी बुक फ्रॉम फाइनेंशियल ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ बिजनेस दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न दैट इफ अ ट्रांजेक्शन इज गिवन टू यू हाउ टू पास दी जर्नल एंट्री और हाउ टू प्रिपेयर दी सब्सिडरी बुक इन सब्सिडरी बुक्स वी हैव प्रिपेयर परचेज बुक परचेज रिटर्न बुक सेल्स बुक एंड सेल्स रिटर्न बुक फाइन In this chapter, we shall learn how to prepare ledger account from a journal and subsidiary book. Now, till now, you are preparing journal and subsidiary book. Now, from this, how to prepare the ledger posting that we are going to study in this particular chapter, and also how to find out the balance in ledger, left out balance. How to find out that also you are going to study in this chapter. At the time of preparing accounts in any organization or business, to dif prepare different ledger accounts and also to find balance in each account is very important. Fine. Now we will see point number two, meaning of ledger. See, what do you mean by ledger? Accounting is a process of recording. This we have studied that. What do you mean by accounting in part one, uh, lesson one? That is, accounting is a process of recording financial transaction of a business. The objective of a trader is to get the useful information relating to the business from the recorded entries. For example, details of total purchase during the year, details of sales. This we were coming to know from the subsidiary books. Then type and accounts of expenses, types and accounts amount. Sorry, types and amount of expenses, types and amount of income, total assets and receivable, total liabilities and payable, profit earned, loss suffered, etc. This type of various information can be known or obtained from a journal or subsidiary book. Fine. So all these details we were coming to know from the journal and subsidiary book. That what type of accounts are there? Uh, purchase account is there, sales account is there, cash account, bank account, capital account, drawing account. So all these different type of accounts details we were going, uh, we were getting from journal proper uh, or journal entry or subsidiary book. In view of the above information, separate account are prepared for the specific information or summary from the accounting entries. The different type of accounts are prepared in separate book, which is known as ledger book. Okay, what do you mean by ledger book? If it is asked, then the different types of. Now, after seeing the meaning of different types of accounts, okay, that is, the different type of accounts are prepared in separate book, which is known as ledger book. We'll come to account. What is an account? An account means summary showing debit and credit effect of transactions affected during a specific period relating to either individual goods assets income or expenses prepared in a specific format according to the rules of account okay so see i'll show you the specimen of account see this is the specimen of an account okay whichever account we are preparing this side it is debit this side it is credit see this is the half portion okay this half is this half is all your debit side and this half is all your credit side fine now what is there in first half date particulars jf that is journal folio okay amount see now when you were writing you were preparing the specimen for journal entry you were writing lf that is ledger folio and here you are writing gf that is journal folio okay why we are writing there lf and why you are writing here gf see if uh, suppose i want to see for example i'll show you one format of journal entry see suppose this is your journal entry format okay for this sum so here there is return lf okay here i will write down the page number that uh, for example this cash account debited the posting of this is done suppose on page number 5 in ledger book fine now where i am doing ledger for example this is my ledger okay so here okay so here it is see cash account debited this is done on this ledger book and this is suppose page number 5 okay now suppose i do the entry of this this side or this side okay so what i will do if i am doing this side here i will write down that here what is there so to uh, cash account okay so here see cash account debited is there okay so opposite side this is on debit so opposite side will be that is we will give the entry of this okay this is your opposite side of it so two capital account this cash is been brought for the purpose of capital here i will write down that is two 
capital this i will show you but here in journal folio number i will write down suppose this is on page number this is your page number 15 okay of journal entry so here i will write down the page number 15 okay and suppose this page number is 5 so see in ledger book this is a separate book this is a separate book okay journal entry is done in separate book uh, ledger posting will be done in separate book but when you are doing the sum you have to do in one same book okay so in the same book where you are writing journal entry as soon as journal entry gets over you will start doing the ledger posting fine in the same book now see here for just an example i am showing you that it is done in different different book so this entry is on page number 15 so here i have written page number 15 and the ledger see jf so you will go and see the page number of journal entry here we are writing lf so you will go and see the page number of ledger book so this ledger book is on page number 5 so here i have written page number 5 okay so this is the meaning of lf and jf but normally we keep it empty in our accounts okay but actually the businessmen they are writing the page numbers like this so now coming back to this so your date particulars jf amount again now on credit side date particulars jf and amount okay so in date you will write down the date of that particular transaction fine in particulars we will write down the details that is either to capital account by cash account like that journal folio number already have explained in journal and subsidiary book each page is numbered serially for the effect of entry which is to be recorded in ledger account the page number given to entry in journal or subsidiary book is mentioned in this column okay so where you are giving the ledger and that in that ledger okay the page number in the journal book or subsidiary book is to be written there similarly this ledger page number is recorded in that journal or subsidiary book whenever that transaction is recorded because of this reconciliation see because of this you can easily check out what do you mean by reconciliation that is easily you can check out the effect of the transaction and in the amount column you'll write down the amount fine then next is meaning of posting from journal or subsidiary book a process of recording as per the rules of accounting either on debit or credit side of an ac affected account is known as posting okay that is known as posting see i'll show you one example of posting okay for example this is the transaction cash account debited to raj account fine so see first of all how many types of transaction is there one is cash and one is raj so here you will pick prepare cash account and you will prepare raj account okay so for cash account date particulars jf amount date particulars jf amount debit credit same way for raj account date particulars jf amount date particulars jf amount okay debit credit so your two transactions are there so here we will prepare two separate accounts okay now see in cash see this is cash account in cash you will never write down cash here either year or year okay in cash you will write down the opposite name so here what is there two raj is there okay and remember that in account this side it is always two and this side it is always by okay in accounts what you will remember debit side it will be always two credit side it will be always by fine now see cash account is on debit side okay to raj account this is your entry so for cash i am just seeing for cash right now what is opposite to cash to raj so in cash account you will write down to raj account the amount is 6500 now when you go to raj okay opposite to raj what is there cash is there and here nothing is there it means there is buy fine so buy always comes this side see in raj you will never write down raj the account which you are preparing in that you will not write down the same name fine here i have prepared cash i will not write down by cash fine here i have prepared raj i won't write down to raj so account which you are preparing you will give the entry of opposite okay transaction so see here opposite to cash there is to raj so in cash you will write down to raj when you are going to raj opposite to raj there is by cash so here there will be by cash account 6500 this process is known as that is process of ledger posting fine this is known as posting and where you are doing the posting of this you are doing the posting of this in the ledger books that's why it is known as ledger posting and this is the name of your chapter fine going back to this 
utility or advantages of ledger see now what are the advantages of ledger okay these are your advantages of ledger you can find out the capital ratio it gives the information about how much capital is employed in the business it means how much capital is invested in the business for assets different type of assets are purchased in business it gives the information about the total amount of different assets at the end of the year at the end of the year you can come to know that how much total assets do you have receivables and payables what you are going to receive in future is known as receivable what you are going to pay in future is known as payable so it gives the information about how much is the amount of receivable and payables at the end of the business then for expenses and income it gives the information of different expenses and income during the accounting year and also its total and individual amount okay for example there is salary expense how much it is you can come to know that total salary is how much okay because we will prepare a separate salary account as i showed you your cash and raj so same way we will prepare separate salary account and will come to know that how much total salary you have paid in the year fine so any type of expense salary rent insurance premium you can prepare the accounts and you can get the details next see information for purchase and sales it gives the information for the total purchases total sales total purchase return total sales return and also outflow of goods outflow of goods means the goods which are going outside the business other than sales during the accounting year other than sales how your goods are going outside the business might be you are giving as an advertisement okay you are uh, taking it as a pers uh, you are taking it for personal use or you are giving it as a barter system transaction so it can be anything then to prepare a trial balance it prepares a trial balance to get the information about balances of all accounts from the ledger okay so if you want to prepare a trial balance what is trial balance we will see in the next chapter but if you want to prepare a trial balance ledger is very important if you are not preparing ledgers you will not get the closing balances if you are not getting closing balances you cannot prepare the trial balance okay that will see later on to prepare a final account now see to prepare a final account you need a trial balance to prepare a trial balance you need ledger posting to prepare a ledger posting you need journal and subsidiary book i think this we have studied in lesson number 1 i'll show you that also see this detail is given on page number 21 in lesson number 1 that first of all what is there voucher is there from the voucher you understand identify the transaction and you write down in journal or subsidiary book from this what you are preparing you are doing the ledger posting from ledger posting what is prepared trial balance and from trial balance what is prepared final account and what is there in final account so trading account profit and loss and balance sheet which shows the exact position of the business fine so this is one type of a process of accounts okay so here this you have to follow so same thing have this been discussed here also back side c that is you it is important to prepare a trial balance and from trial balance final account is prepared next is what for policy making decision it helps a trader by giving useful and important information from ledger and for the policy making decision as you can know the exact amount of expense the exact amount of income exact purchase exact sales so you can take any kind of decision in the business on the basis of this okay so it's why, that's why it is also important to get the statistical information it gives the useful statistical information from accounts and also point out statistical or principal mistakes see if some mistakes are been done you can come to know for example if you are preparing cash account and at the end you are finding the closing cash balance if it is not tallied with the cash on hand then you can come to know that there is some mistake okay so same way you can tally the things and you can find out that the mistake is there or not so these are the advantages of posting fine next is index of ledger see what do you mean by index of ledger index means same way okay as in a book you are getting an index okay like this okay this is your index here you can get the detail that what is in uh, on page number uh, so one what is on page number 5 what is in page on page number 10 like this okay so see here the ledger page number that on page number 1 whose account is there anup account is there on ledger page number Three, whose account is there? Akash account is there. On page number fifty-six, whose account is there? So State Bank of India is there. On page number sixty-one, which account is prepared? So telephone. So if you want to search any 
account okay you will directly see the ledger of the, uh, the index of the ledger where you have arranged the things okay in an alphabetical order and in front of that account the page number is written so directly you can go to that particular page number to see the details of that account fine so we will uh, read this now all accounts arising from the business transaction are maintained in a ledger there are numerous uh, such accounts at the time of posting process too much time is wasted to find out which account is on which page number therefore for the sake of convenience in the beginning of the ledger itself a list of all the account is maintained which is known as an index or exponent of a ledger see this is also known as index or exponent remember both the names fine such list is prepared alphabetically here each page is serially numbered and therefore against each account its page number is shown and because of this any account can be found from the ledger quickly and easily fine now see next is forms of ledger how many forms of ledger are there bound book ledger loose leaf ledger and card ledger okay so total how many types of ledgers are there for theoretical purpose just remember that there are three types of ledger first is bound book ledger loose leaf ledger ledger and card ledger now see we'll see in detail first bound book ledger generally most of the traders specifically small traders prefer those type of ledgers okay so who prefers bound book ledgers so small type of traders prefer bound book ledger this type of ledger is overall less expensive and easy for from the view point of preservation this ledger is in the form of a bound book okay just like a notebook it is a bound book in the beginning of it index is given and thereafter each page is serially numbered as and when required new page can't be added in this type of ledger because it is a, a, a book in a bound form it means it is just a Uh, in a full scale form where the whole book is been prepared okay you cannot add a separate page in between okay next is loose leaf, uh, loose leaf ledger this type of ledger is in uh, is in a filled form in between two thick paper cover or in between two metal sheets okay so top and bottom there will be two thick sheets or a metal sheets and in between there will be loose papers okay the structure is connected with a special type of lock as it is with lock system it ensure the facility with safety here each page is serially numbered here a trader can increase or decrease the number of pages according to its requirement if you want to add the number of pages you can add if you want to decrease the number of pages you can do that also okay so this facility is available in loose leaf ledger next is card ledger this form of ledger is safe form with convenience here for each account instead of a page a card is used all these cards are arranged with a steel bar all the cards are preserved in a special steel or wooden cabinet okay here there is either wooden cabinet or a special steel one of course overall it is an expensive form here traders can increase or decrease the number of cards as per the requirement in this form for index separate cards are required to be arranged okay so this is the expensive form suppose for example they are asking you which is the expensive form of ledger so card ledger is an expensive form of ledger fine next topic is omitted okay point number that is process of posting here what is there so process of posting first is uh, posting of journal entry and second is posting for form from subsidiary book okay we are going to study both that is how to pass the uh sorry how to do the ledger posting from journal entry and how to do the ledger posting from a subsidiary book that will study in detail fine in the sums practical sums so here your theory gets over and now we will start a practical sum now see in exercise page number 244 question number 5 in the book of shri katara write journal entries for the following transaction draw necessary accounts in the ledger and post them accordingly okay so see before doing the ledger posting you have to give the journal entry fine so here there are eight journal entries we will see how the journal entry is posted okay see first transaction brought 3 lakh 30 in business from this 2 lakh 30 is deposited in bank okay so total how much you are bringing in the business 3 lakh 30 out of that 2 lakh 30 you are depositing in bank it means 1 lakh you are keeping with you in the cash form okay so here that is see how the journal entry will be passed see norm, uh, we have done journal entries many times so your journal entry have kept ready okay first that is c 
cash account debited bank account debited two capital account see this is brought in the business so 3 lakh 30 will be against capital your cash account debited that is how much cash you have kept with you 1 lakh and 2 lakh 30 you have deposited in the bank so bank account debited so this is your journal entry okay then see second cash purchases see cash purchases so you are purchasing goods so cash is uh, that is goods are coming in the business so how the transaction will be there so purchase account debited to cash account okay as it is cash purchase here the narration will be being cash deposited into bank out of cash brought in the business here the being goods of rupees 85000 purchased for cash fine next entry see from ajmal furniture mart a furniture of 11500 is purchased for office use now see this furniture you are purchasing from this particular mart it means shop name is given it means that it is a credit transaction as you are purchasing purchase is always debited but you are purchasing an asset so in place of purchase we will write down the name of the asset so see this will be the entry furniture account debited to ajmal furniture mart fine then next transaction the narration that will be being furniture purchased from ajwal furniture mart next see against the receivable of 7 uh, sorry a check of 8000 is given to kanu bhai against dues okay you were supposed to pay the amount to kanu bhai okay and you are giving a check see you are giving it means kanu bhai is the receiver so according to the rule debit the receiver so see what will be the entry kanu bhai account debited to you are giving a check so to bank account fine 8000 8000 being check issued to kanu bhai this will be the transaction next against the receivable of 7800 from raju bhai check received for 7500 for the full and final payment see you were supposed to receive from raju bhai 7800 and you are receiving in a check form 7500 it means discount is given that is 300 now see against the receivable from raju bhai you are going to receive from raju bhai so raju bhai is the giver and you are the receiver so credit the giver so raju bhai will be going on credit side check is coming so what will be the entry bank account debited 7500 discount of rupees 300 because you are suffering as a loss so this is discount allowed to raju bhai how much you were supposed to receive from him that is 7800 so being check received from raju bhai to clear the debts fine this is the entry next cash sales you know that sales is always going to credit side so how the entry will be passed cash account debited to sales account amount is 15000 15000 being goods sold for cash okay next is credit sales to ramesh bhai of rupees 75000 see it is credit sales okay cash is not been paid so how the entry will be going sales is always going on credit side so ramesh bhai account debited see ramesh bhai account debited to sales account 75000 75000 being goods sold to ramesh bhai on credit next is salary paid see you are paying the salary fine so salary is an expense so your salary account debited to cash account 6200 6200 being salary paid and then you at the end you will do the total of your debit and credit side so this journal entry i have kept ready for you fine now on the basis of this journal entry we will be doing the ledger posting clear now see your your journal entry gets over you will start your ledger from this same page okay that is ledger of that is shri katara okay so ledger of shri katara okay but for better understanding see your this page might get over and i'll have to go back so for better understanding what i have done right now journal entry i have written in a separate book and ledger posting we will do in a separate book so your entries will be in front of you here okay but in your book what you will do you will not prepare these things in two separate book from your itself you will start preparing the account that is ledger of shri katara what is your cash account so here you will prepare that is cash account then what is there bank and capital so next you will prepare that is capital account or bank account and then you will prepare bank account okay so likewise see how many total accounts will have to prepare see 1 2 3 4 See cash already prepared, so again we will not prepare. Okay, four, five, six, seven. See bank already prepared, so again you will not prepare. Seven, 
एट नाइन अगेन बैंक वी आर नॉट कंसिडरिंग नाइन सी कैश अगेन वी आर नॉट कंसिडरिंग टेन इलेवन अगेन सेल्स इज ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर सो वी विल नॉट कंसिडर एंड ट्वेल्व कैश इज ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर सो वी विल नॉट कंसिडर सो टोटल हाउ मेनी अकाउंट्स यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर ट्वेल्व सो लाइक वाइज फॉर थ्री थ्री और फोर फोर लाइन्स यू विल प्रिपेयर दिस ट्वेल्व अकाउंट्स ओके आई हैव केप्ट रेडी फॉर यू सी लाइक दिस ओके कैश अकाउंट सेकेंड कैपिटल अकाउंट थर्ड बैंक अकाउंट फोर्थ परचेज अकाउंट फिफ्थ फर्नीचर अकाउंट सिक्स अजमल फर्नीचर मार्ट अकाउंट सेवेंथ कनू भाई अकाउंट एथ रमेश भाई अकाउंट देन नाइन्थ डिस्काउंट अकाउंट टेंथ राजू भाई अकाउंट देन इलेवेंथ सेल्स अकाउंट एंड सैलरी दैट इज ट्वेल्थ ओके सैलरी अकाउंट फाइन डेबिट क्रेडिट यू विल राइट डाउन एवरीवेयर डेट पर्टिकुलर्स जे एफ अमाउंट डेट पर्टिकुलर्स जे एफ अमाउंट इफ डेट इज नॉट गिवेन इन प्लेस ऑफ डेट यू विल राइट डाउन द सीरियल नंबर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ट्रांजेक्शन फाइन सो दिस यू हैव टू कीप इट रेडी आफ्टर सींग दैट हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स आर देट ओके वंस कैश इज कमिंग देन अगेन सेकेंड टाइम कैश विल कम सो यू विल नॉट काउंट इट ओके सो दिस यू विल कीप इट रेडी ओके एंड दिस यू विल प्रिपेयर यर ओनली बिलो द जर्नल एंट्री ओके आई हैव यूज अ सेपरेट बुक यू विल नॉट यूज सेपरेट बुक क्लियर नाउ सी ओके वी विल डू दिस फर्स्ट नाउ यर सी कैश अकाउंट डेबिटेड वॉट इज द अमाउंट फॉर कैश वन लैक नाउ कैश इज ऑन विच साइड सी दिस टू ओके यर वॉट इज देयर बाई इज देयर विच इज हिडेड वी आर नॉट राइटिंग यर बाय ओके बट बाय इज हिडेड बिकॉज यर देर इज टू सो यू विल गो टू कैश अकाउंट यू विल नॉट राइट डाउन कैश ओके सी दिस इज योर कैश अकाउंट इन कैश वी विल नॉट राइट डाउन कैश वॉट यू विल डू अपोजिट टू कैश वॉट इज देयर टू कैपिटल अकाउंट ओके सो वी विल राइट डाउन टू कैपिटल अकाउंट एंड रिमेंबर दिस साइड ऑफ अकाउंट इट इज ऑलवेज टू दिस साइड ऑफ अकाउंट इट इज ऑलवेज बाय ओके सो योर कैश अपोजिट टू कैश वॉट इज देयर टू कैपिटल ओके सो योर यू विल गो ओके दिस इज योर ट्रांजेक्शन नंबर वन सो योर आई विल राइट डाउन वन योर आई विल राइट डाउन दैट इज टू कैपिटल अकाउंट फाइन नाउ सी do not copy the amount of this you will copy the amount of cash because you are giving the posting of cash so cash is how much 1 lakh so here you will write down 1 lakh okay this is the problem when there are two items on one side okay so like this you will do that you will give the uh, write the transaction for the opposite but amount you will take for this only same way next you will go to bank account and in bank account you will go and write down two capital account so see this is our bank account in bank account i will go and i will write down two capital two is coming on this side so here the transaction is first two capital account fine now here what is the amount for bank 2 lakh 30 so you will write down the amount of 2 lakh 30 fine now see cash is over bank is over now the turn comes for capital now opposite to capital there is two items so you will write down both the items in capital okay and here what is there here there is invisible buy okay so you will go to capital account okay the transaction date is 1 and now you will write down buy okay see here the transaction is buy cash and buy bank so here you will write down buy cash account buy bank account okay it may be small or big according to you then what is the amount for cash 1 lakh and 2 lakh 30 so here 1 lakh and 2 lakh 30 fine so this is the posting of your transaction number 1 that is over okay now we will move on to the transaction number 2 see what is the second transaction that is purchase account debited so i'll go to purchase account okay see this is my purchase account fine now what is opposite to purchase two cash so what i will do i will go opposite in purchase account i will go and write down two cash so this is purchase account i have to write down two cash two is coming this side and this is your second transaction so here two two cash account the amount is 85000 so here i will write down that is 80 5000 fine now see purchase is over now you will go cash 
in cash you will go and you will write down here nothing is there it means buy is there invisible so in cash account you will go and you will write down buy purchase okay so in cash account here first is cash account and we will write down that is transaction number 2 buy purchase see here buy purchase account so buy purchase account amount is 85000 clear so see in purchase account we went and we wrote to cash we go went to cash and we wrote buy purchase fine now for the next transaction third furniture now you will go to furniture account and you will write down to ajmal furniture mark so see this is my furniture account what i will do i have to write down to ajmal furniture mark and two comes on this side so this is your transaction number three i will write down to ajmal furniture mart account amount is 11500 okay so here i will go and write down 11500 now furniture is over now i'll go to ajmal furniture mart in ajmal furniture mart what i will write here nothing is there so buy so we will go to ajmal furniture mart and i will write down buy furniture account so see this is Ajmal Furniture Mart. Okay, what I have to write down? I have to write down buy furniture account. So buy comes on this side. This is your transaction number three. So buy furniture account that is 11,500. Fine, this is the posting. Next, see what is there? Fourth, Kanu Bhai account debited. So in Kanu Bhai, I will go and I will write down two bank. I will go to Kanubai account. I will write down two bank. So see, this is Kanubai. Okay, I have to write down two bank. Two comes this side, and this is your transaction number four. So see, four. Okay, and I will write down your two bank account amount is eight thousand. So your eight thousand. Fine. Now Kanubai is over. I have written in Kanubai account. See, Kanubai account. I have written two bank. Now I'll go to bank. And I will write down that is buy. Here nothing is there, so buy. So in bank, I will go and I will write down buy Kanu Bhai. Okay. So this is your bank account. Okay. I have to write down buy Kanu Bhai. Transaction number is 4 buy Kanu Bhai account and the amount is. 8000 hope the process of posting is clear in your mind now see next bank account debited discount account debited raju bhai account see again on debit side there are two items okay so what you will do i will go to bank and i will write down the name of raju bhai that is two raju bhai but amount i will write down for 7500 clear so bank account debited in bank account i will go and i will write down to raju bhai but the amount of bank only will come that is 7500 so we will go to bank and we will write down to raju bhai so see this is your bank account i will write down to raju bhai account the date is that is the transaction number is fifth and see i have to write down the amount of bank that is 7500 so see here there is 7500 okay now next bank is over now we will go to discount account and we will write down to raju bhai account okay opposite to discount is on debit so this is on credit so in discount you'll go and you'll write down to raju bhai account okay so see this is your discount fine what you'll write down to raju bhai so two is coming this side and the transaction is fifth so to raju bhai account that is how much so discount amount is that is 300 so here i will write down in the amount of discount column that is 300 fine now bank is over discount is over now we will come to raju bhai account now in raju bhai account i have to write down both of this and what is invisible there there is invisible buy now we won't write down okay only till four transaction i have made you understand that here what is there invisible buy so here invisible buy is there so we will go to Raju Bhai account and we will write down both buy bank account by discount account. So see this is your Raju Bhai account. Okay. We will write down buy bank account by discount 
account okay the day uh, transaction number is 5 and 5 okay the amount is that is 7500 and 300 for discount clear this is your amounts okay now moving on to next transaction this is our next transaction cash two sales now cash account in cash you will go and you will write down two sales so see here there is cash we will write down that is two sales so two sales account transaction number is 6 amount is 15000 clear so now cash is over now we have to give the entry for sales so now we will go to sales account and you will write down by cash okay so we will go to sales account so this is your sales account and we will write down that is by cash account transaction is number 6 and the amount is that is 15000 clear then moving on to next transaction ramesh bhai account debited to sales account now i'll go to ramesh bhai and i'll write down sales so see two sales so ramesh bhai account is this okay i will write down two sales so two is coming on this side two sales account it is number 7 amount is that is 75000 fine now after that i'll go to sales and i'll write down by ramesh you'll go to sales account you will write down by ramesh so sales account is here i will write down that is by ramesh bhai account the transaction number is 7 amount is 75000 the next salary so i'll go to salary account and i'll write down two cash so see this is salary account and two cash so two is coming this side transaction number is 8 two cash account that is amount is 60 200 so you are also amount 60 200 sorry okay so only 60 200 then next salary i have written in salary now i have to go to cash in cash i will go and i will write down by salary by is invisible so i'll go to cash account i will write down by salary account so see this is my cash account and i will write down by salary account okay transaction number is 8 amount is 62 okay so this way all the transactions we have done in the ledger posting and this is known as ledger posting hope the things are clear in your mind still if you have any query then you can ask fine now we will move on to our next sum that is question number 6 see now question number 6 in the books of panchal stores write journal entries for the following transaction draw the necessary accounts in the ledger and post them accordingly okay now first of all we have to give the journal entries okay journal entries i have kept ready we will see we will discuss that first cash 40000 furniture 20000 brought in business whatever you are bringing in the business will be treated as capital so here the entry will be cash account debited furniture account debited to capital account see this is the entry cash account debited furniture account debited to capital account okay here 40000 20000 and here there will be 60000 being cash and furniture brought in the business okay this is a combined transaction then second goods of rupees 36000 are sold to dhawal stores at 10% trade discount for this dhawal store has paid a cash of rupees 15000 okay now see here what they have done that is 10% trade discount the amount is 36000 so see here 36000 Fine. Minus trade discount. We are always doing minus ten percent. Okay, thirty-two thousand four hundred. Now, out of this thirty-two thousand four hundred, Dhawal is paying cash fifteen thousand. Okay, so first of all, total sales is of how much rupees? That is thirty-two thousand four hundred. See, we will see the transaction. Cash account debited. See, something is paid in cash and something is not paid. So, party's name, that is store name, will come. So, Dhawal store account debited to sales account. fine now total sales is that is we have seen 32400 so here 32400 cash is been paid by dhawal for 15000 okay so here sorry for this dhawal store has paid cash okay uh, paid a cash of rupees 15000 so here from this amount i will deduct 15000 
so how much i am getting 17400 so here there will be 17400 in front of the name of dhawal store clear so being goods sold to dhawal store and received a part payment in cash okay so total it was 36000 we have calculated 36000 minus 10% so on calculator we will get we are getting 32400 we have deducted 15000 from that so the left out amount is a uh, for credit transaction clear see next transaction 18000 is deposited in bank you are depositing cash in bank bank is the receiver so that entry will be bank account debited to cash account that is 18000 okay third transaction and then being cash deposited in bank okay i think journal entries are now clear to you because we are doing since last 6 months okay then Next is goods of rupees twenty thousand are purchased at twelve percent trade discount from Thara store. For this, a check of eight thousand is given. See again, there is twelve percent trade discount. So first, we'll calculate twenty thousand minus twelve percent. Okay, that is coming to seventeen thousand six hundred. Out of which, a check of eight thousand is given. So minus. Eight thousand. What is the left out amount? That is ninety six hundred. Is a credit transaction. Okay, so there is a credit purchase of ninety six hundred and cash purchase of eight thousand out of this transaction. Fine. Now, as it is a purchase, so first the entry will be like this. See, purchase account debited. The transaction is fourth purchase account debited. Okay, total seventeen thousand six hundred. That how we got this amount. So twenty thousand. is there and minus 12% trade discount so we are getting this amount okay purchase is always coming on debit side now you are paying a check of 8000 so two bank account 8000 17600 minus 8000 so we are getting 9600 which we have calculated on calculator also okay 9600 clear then the narration will be that is being goods purchased from thara traders and paid some amount through check next is fifth withdraw from bank 5000 for office expense and 4000 for household see 5000 is for office whereas 4000 is for household okay see here though they have written office name okay but we were not writing office because still we have not paid as an office expense okay so this we have also learned in lesson number 4 that is in journal okay that whenever office expenses are uh, cash is withdrawn for office expense from the bank until and unless you are not paying for office expense you won't write down office expense account debited you will only write down cash account debited so see here the entry Cash account debited five thousand for household you are withdrawing so drawings account debited so total how much you have withdrawn nine thousand so two bank account being amount withdrawn from bank for office expense and for personal expense this is your narration now see the total amount you have withdrawn for office expense that was five thousand out of that five thousands how much now you are paying so it is said that office expense paid rupees twenty two hundred so now you are paying for office expense so office expense becomes an expense so office expense account debited to cash account that is twenty two hundred being paid office expense okay transaction number seven then see eight. Against the dues of four eight three zero, paid forty eight hundred in cash for the final settlement to Jayesh Bhai. See, you are paying forty eight hundred. So thirty rupees is a benefit for you. That is, you have received the discount. Okay, so discount will be on credit side, and you are paying to Jayesh Bhai. So Jayesh Bhai is the receiver. So debit the receiver. So see how the entry will be. Jayesh Bhai account debited total four eight three zero. Out of that, you have given cash of how much? Forty eight hundred. So to cash account. See, this is your discount earned. Discount received, so it will be on credit side. So to discount account that is thirty rupees, being cash paid to Jayesh Bhai to clear the dues. Fine. Next transaction C. Due to fire in Godown, goods of thirty two hundred is burned by fire. An insurance company has accepted a claim of twenty six hundred for the same. See total goods are burned. Goods gone by any means. So I have taught you that always credit purchase account goods whenever going outside the business. through any means okay you have to credit the purchase account normally purchase account is debited when you are purchasing the goods but when goods are going outside the business rather than sales in that case you have to credit the purchase account okay so see how the transaction will be there first of all see two purchase account 3200 now out of this 2600 is being given by insurance company so insurance company account debited total goods destroyed is 32 so 3200 minus 2600 so the difference of 600 is lost due to fire 
and the entry is thus like that insurance company account debited loss due to fire account debited to purchase account being goods burned by fire and insurance company accepted lesser amount of insurance okay then see the next transaction goods of rupees 6600 are purchased from anil traders and towards this payment of 2600 is made in cash so see 6600 goods are purchased from anil trader but payment is not done full okay it means there is a credit transaction of purchases so first of all how the transaction will be see purchase account debited 6600 cash you are giving 2600 so anil trader that is a credit portion so we will write down the party's name for 4000 so being purchased goods from anil traders next transaction c paid 4800 for shop rent and 6000 for house rent see shop rent is okay that is an expense related to business house rent is not an expense related to business so that is affected okay so here the entry will be like this that is shop rent account debited 4800 drawings account debited 6000 to cash account so total how much is withdrawn from the business so that is 10800 being paid shop rent and house rent fine then see the next transaction paid 4000 to anil traders by check now see in this transaction there was anil traders okay that is transaction number 10 and now we are paying how much that is 4000 by check so see here we can see that how much we were supposed to pay to him 4000 and we are paying 4000 fine so here as we are paying to anil trader anil trader is the receiver so debit the receiver so anil trader account we are paying through check so to bank account that is 4000 4000 okay being amount paid through check if it is said that remaining amount is paid to anil traders so then you have to go here and you have to check that what is that remaining amount it is 4000 so here there will be 4000 4000 if the amount is not given here and here they have only mentioned that remaining amount is paid to anil traders so go to transaction number 10 and see like this that how much is the remaining amount from uh, for anil trader it is 4000 so here there will be 4000 4000 okay so and at the end you will do the total of your journal entry fine now we will see the posting of this that how to pass the posting in ledger book okay first of all see we will count the accounts okay that is cash furniture capital 3 cash is already covered 4 5 6 okay cash is already there seven bank is already there eight cash is already there nine bank is already there then 10 11 cash is already there okay so 12 13 14 purchase is already there cash is also already there anil trader 15 16 drawing is already there then already there so total 16 accounts will be coming fine now we will see the accounts now see the first transaction for ledger posting okay now your dates are given to you so you have to go according to date wise in the date column you will be writing date in ledger posting fine so see this way we have prepared the ledgers of panchal store cash account फर्नीचर अकाउंट कैपिटल अकाउंट धवल स्टोर अकाउंट सेल्स अकाउंट धारा ट्रेडर्स अकाउंट परचेज अकाउंट बैंक अकाउंट ड्रॉइंग्स अकाउंट ऑफिस एक्सपेंस अकाउंट जयेश भाई अकाउंट डिस्काउंट अकाउंट इंश्योरेंस कंपनी अकाउंट लॉस ड्यू टू फायर अकाउंट अनिल ट्रेडर्स अकाउंट एंड शॉप रेंट अकाउंट टोटल सिक्सटीन अकाउंट्स वी हैव प्रिपेयर ओके नाउ फर्स्ट वन कैश अकाउंट डेबिटेड okay now opposite to cash okay what is there two capital so you will go to cash account and you will write down two capital okay so see this is your cash account you will write down two capital account the date is first see here they have written 2016 april 1st so here also we will write down 2016 april 1st fine now in cash i have written two capital but amount i will write down for cash only that is 40000 so here i will write down in amount column that is 40000 okay so this first is over cash fine now next is furniture so i'll go to furniture account and i'll write down two capital so see this is my furniture account i will write down two capital account the date is 2016 april first 
now see i have written in furniture account two capital but the amount i will write down that is for furniture itself that is 20000 so here i will write down that is 20000 clear now this furniture is also over now we will move on to the next one that is two capital so in capital we will go and will write down both of this because opposite to capital both are there here nothing is there it means buy will come so in capital account we will write down buy cash account buy furniture account so see this is your capital account we will write down here buy cash account buy furniture account fine then 2016 april first and first the amount is 40000 and 20000 so 40000 20000 fine so here your first transaction is over moving on to next transaction see again here there are two items okay so first cash account debited okay opposite to cash there is two sales account okay so we will write down two sales but amount we will write down 15000 so go to cash account write down two sales and 15000 so this is your cash account we will write down two sales account amount is 15000 and the date is 2016 april 2nd fine now dhawal store so in dhawal store also i will write down two sales but amount i will write down 17400 so i'll go to dhawal store account i will write down two sales 17400 so dhawal okay and what i have to write down that is sorry by mistake i wrote here okay see cash account debited 15000 two sales by mistake i have written here it will not come on this side okay this was my mistake here it will be that is two sales account that is 15000 and year 2nd april okay same way in dhawal store i will write down two sales so see this is dhawal store okay i will write down here two sales account the amount is 17400 so 17400 the date is 2016 april and second fine now see cash is over dhawal is over now sales so in sales i will go and i'll write down buy cash and buy dhawal okay so this is my sales i will write down buy see what is there buy cash and buy dhawal so buy cash account buy dhawal account the date is 2016 april 2nd and 2nd in cash there is 15000 and 17400 in dhawal so here 15000 17400 in dhawal clear next see what is there bank account debited to cash so i'll go to bank and i will write down two cash so bank account okay here there is bank account c in bank what i have to write down in bank i will write down two cash and the date is third so in bank i have to write down two cash account fine the date is 2016 april third amount is 18000 so 18000 okay bank i have completed now i will go to cash and i will write down by bank okay so cash is here okay i will write down by bank account okay date is that is third amount is 18000 fine next is purchase so see i'll go to purchase and i will write down two bank and two dhara okay so i'll go to purchase account this is my purchase account i will write down two bank two dhara so two is coming this side so here two bank account two dhara traders account date is 2016 april Four and four amount is eight thousand ninety six hundred. So here eight thousand ninety six 
100 fine so see purchase is completed fine next is bank so i'll go to bank and i'll write down by purchase but i'll write down the amount that is only 8000 fine dear okay so i'll go to bank i'll write down by purchase so bank account is here i will write down by purchase account date is 2016 april 4 okay so see in bank account i have written by purchase so see in bank i have written by purchase but amount will come for bank that is 8000 so here there will be 8000 fine next what i have done bank is over so now we will move on to dhara traders okay so dhara traders we have to give the entry so see here dhara traders is there so in dhara traders i have to write down by purchase but amount i will write down 9600 okay this is a combined transaction so dhara trader you will go this is dhara trader i will write down by purchase account so by comes this side so here by purchase account the date is 2016 april 4 amount i will write down 9600 okay so this transaction is also over now moving on to next cash now opposite to cash what is that two bank so i will go to cash account and i will write down two bank okay so this is cash okay i will write down two bank account the date is fifth see in cash i have written two bank but i will write down the amount of cash only that is 5000 so here 5000 okay so this cash is over then drawings account okay so drawings i'll go and i'll write down two bank so in drawings account i will go i will write down two bank see this is drawings i will write down two bank so two bank account date 2016 april 5 so see what i have written in drawings i have written two bank see drawings i have written two bank but amount i will write down for drawing that is 4000 so here there will be 4000 clear now this is also over drawings now we will move on to two bank now opposite to bank there are two items so in bank i will write down both by cash by drawing okay so i'll go to bank i will write down by cash account by drawings account find the date is fifth fifth amount is five thousand 4000 okay 5000 and 4000 okay now we will move on to next transaction that is date 7 office expenses to cash now i'll go to office expense account and i will write down to cash okay so office expense account see this is my office expense account i have to write down to cash so office expense to comes this side so your to cash account date is 2016 april 7 okay now this is over the amount is 2200 so here i will write down 2200 clear now i'll go to cash and i'll write down by office expense so i'll go to cash account fine this is my cash account i have to write down by office expense okay so here by office expense account the date is that is 7 amount is 2200 clear then this is also over now moving on to next transaction jayesh bhai account see i'll go to jayesh bhai and i'll write down two items okay because opposite to jayesh bhai there are two items okay two cash and two discount so jayesh bhai account i will go okay so see this is jayesh bhai account i have to write down two cash two discount so two coming this side two cash account to discount account fine so jayesh by two cash to discount the date is a so 2016 april 8 okay that is 4830 see this jayesh by is over fine now i'll go to cash account okay now opposite to cash what is there buy 
by Jayesh Bhai. So I'll go to cash account. I will write down by Jayesh Bhai account. Fine. See, in cash I have written by Jayesh Bhai, but amount I will write down for cash. That is forty-eight hundred. Okay. So here forty-eight hundred. The date is eighth. So this is also over. Now I'll go to discount and I'll write down by Jayesh Bhai. How much amount? So see, amount I will write down for discount thirty. I'll go to discount. I'll write down by Jayesh Bhai, but amount will come for discount. That is thirty. So in discount column, see this is your discount column. By Jayesh Bhai account. Okay, the date is two thousand sixteen April eight. Amount was thirty rupees. Fine. Next C ninth insurance company account. See opposite to insurance there is two purchase. Okay, so I'll go to insurance company. This is my insurance company. I'll write down two purchase account. Date is two thousand sixteen April nine. Fine. Now see insurance company. I've written two purchase, but amount I will write down for insurance that is twenty six hundred. So here. Twenty-six hundred. Clear. Now in loss, I will. Get, so this is over. Now loss in loss account. I'll go and I'll write down two purchase. So this is my loss account. Okay, loss due to fire account. I'll write down two purchase account. Two thousand sixteen April nine. See amount for loss is how much? Six hundred. So here we have to write down amount for loss only. Okay, six hundred. So this is also over. Now purchase account I'll go and I'll write down both of this by insurance company by loss due to fire account. Okay, so I'll go to purchase account. See our purchase account is here. Okay, I'll write down by. So by insurance company account by loss due to fire account. The date is that is two thousand sixteen. April nine and nine. Okay, the amount is twenty six hundred six hundred. So twenty six hundred and six hundred. Fine. Next C. Purchase account debited. So in purchase account I'll go and I'll write down two cash two annual trader. Okay, so this is my purchase account. I will write down two cash account two annual traders account. Okay, both are opposite. So both of them we have written date is ten, so ten and ten. Amount is twenty six hundred four thousand. So twenty six hundred four thousand. Fine. See purchase we have done. Now we will go to cash account and we will write down by purchase, but amount we will write down twenty six hundred. Okay. Again I am repeating. I'll go to cash account. I'll write down by purchase. Amount will be this twenty six hundred. So cash account. This is your cash account. I have to write down by purchase account. The date is ten. Amount is twenty six hundred. Fine. Then now cash is also over. Now moving on to annual traders. Annual traders account. I'll go. I'll write down by purchase and amount. I will write down for annual trader. That is four thousand. So annual traders. This is my annual traders. I have to write down by. Purchase account amount was four thousand. Date is two thousand sixteen April ten. Fine. Next transaction shop rent account. So I have to go to shop rent account. I will write down in shop rent. I will write down two cash. Okay. This we have completed an annual trader. Now drawings. Sorry, shop rent. Shop rent. I will go. I'll write down two cash, but I will write down the amount of shop rent that is forty eight hundred. So shop rent. This is my shop rent. Two cash account amount was that is forty eight hundred. Fine. So forty eight hundred date is two thousand sixteen April twelve. Okay. Now shop rent is over. Now drawings. So I'll go to drawings account. Okay. Drawings account. I have to write down two cash and amount. I will write down of drawing only. That is six thousand. So see, this is your drawing account. Okay, I have to write down opposite to drawing. I have two cash. So here in drawing, I will write down two cash. 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 Two cash.
टू कैश अकाउंट द डेट इज ट्वेल्व अमाउंट ऑफ ड्रॉइंग इज सिक्स थाउजेंड सो यर सिक्स थाउजेंड नाउ दिस इज ऑल्सो ओवर नाउ टू कैश सो अपोजिट टू कैश इज बाय शॉप रेंट एंड बाय ड्रॉइंग सो इन कैश अकाउंट आई गो एंड आई राइट डाउन बाय शॉप रेंट बाय ड्रॉइंग सो सी यर कैश अकाउंट इज देर आई विल राइट डाउन यर बाय आई हैव टू राइट डाउन शॉप रेंट एंड बाय ड्रॉइंग सो बाय शॉप रेंट अकाउंट by drawings account fine the date is that is year 12 12 okay the amount will be that is 4800 and 6000 clear next is anil traders so in anil traders i will go and i'll write down two bank 4000 so anil traders i'll write down two bank account that is 4000 date is 2016 april 13 okay so see this is over now now in bank i will go and i will write down by anil traders so in bank i will go okay i will write down by anil traders so bank i will write down by anil traders account the date is 13 amount is 5000 okay so this is the ledger posting okay for question number 6 fine tell here hope the things are clear in your mind